hi and welcome to this video. My name is Brian Nelson from Encaustic Art Plus, based in Elsica, South Yorkshire. I know it's early to introduce to you Christmas, but to give you time to gather your supplies and to be able to create your own greetings cards to be able to send to your friends and family. I decided I would present them nice and early. They're just a few simple designs created by me in my studio. I'm going to show you how to create a nice simple image using the Three Wise Men. Rubber stamp, wooden block rubber stamp sold by us in Caustic Art Plus based in Elsica, South Yorkshire. So we take some ink When the thing is quite new, like this one is, you can tell quite easily if you've covered it. Place it where you want it. Push down. If you struggle to get enough pressure with your hands to push down, you can use part of your arm. It's like a nice even pressure there we go three wise men if you're going to use stamping with your encaustic card you need to do this prior to applying any wax to the shiny card otherwise the ink will resist against the wax and they'll not dry Take a nice clean tissue, once you've stamped your image, fold it in half, lay it over the image, take your iron, go over the top, and iron it dry. If you've got time, you could just leave them out on the side if you're making a big batch of them. Leave them for a couple of hours, they'll dry. Just checking with my thumb that that's nice and dry, that the ink's not smearing all over. It's absolutely fine. Take clear wax next, number 27, and then just run it over the top of your stamped image. This will dilute the colour, enabling you to see the image. Just going to apply some blue, some gold, and some neon pink into my sky. Create a sky area, but I'm not going to worry if this comes right down. That's lovely, that's just about what I want. I'm going to sit these in a desert type environment. So I've got gold and yellow. Just a tiny bit of white. move the iron around to spread the colour and take my iron and lift and dab together and they're all obviously pointing towards a star you can take your scrapey tool which you'll find in the starter kit which is like a metal pencil. You can use this to scrape in the appearance of a star.
take a bit of tissue just wipe away the little flecks I can add a few small ones or even just some little dots to represent small stars it would have been around on that starry night so I'm just literally just bouncing the tool up and down as you can see because they're just tiny stars and that's our little uh, three wise men image that can be mounted into a greetings card we're now going to make our second card using Santa and the reindeers and the fir tree stamp I'll firstly stamp the reindeers so I'm just going to apply ink again spin it round roughly about there push down because I don't have great grip I use my arm lovely take the tree This time I'm going to put quite a lot of ink on for one tree. Put that one a little bit higher up. That's just going to work just fine for what we want. And I'm going to overlap, bring down a few more trees. The keen stampers of you will tell me off because I've just taken the, the stamp to the ink rather than this way around, which is the proper way around apparently stamp lovely Want the appearance of a bit some sort of a woodland going on that's lovely so we've got trees stamped with the reindeer and santa flying over the top Take clean tissue, lay it over the top, give it an iron over. This time don't forget we're going over the whole card near enough. Just check that they're dry. If they weren't they'd smudge all over. Take some clear 27, that's clear 27. Just apply a thin layer all over the card. I'm going to turn my card upside down. Start at the, what would be the top, but is in theory the bottom. Yellow, orange, red, tiny bit of blue, and gold. We'll get a nice magical sky. That's not bad at all. Tiny bit of brown, bit of 
gold, the neon orange, yellow, bit of mixed in there, and green. Through there. And as you can see, we've started to cover up now where the trees are. I filled the bit in between. Some darker green towards the bottom. You can always add a bit of brown into that. Get it darker. Just get it on there to start with. Then we're going to take the two surfaces and tap them together at the bottom. Giving you that like woodlandy type look. Managed to get a bit more brown just to come out the edge of the iron, which is fine. Just tap that in. Make a fantastic card this one. Can't wait to see it finished. There we go, that's the uh, imagery part. Happy painting everyone and we'll look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Please hit like and subscribe.